Good morning traders and welcome to Trading Wave uh, uh, Analysis. So on today's short video, we're going to be looking at Palm Cat. So Palm Cat is our chart of the week. You can check it out there. It's freely available on the website and you will see why are we looking for a move to the upside. All right. So if you'd like to visit us, you can uh, contact us there. This is our website that you are seeing on the screen there. You can just uh, visit us there if you've got any inquiries regarding our services. All right, so let's get started with the palm cat and let's see what we are looking at. And we see that we're looking for a bullish move to the upside, but then let's, let me just show you guys uh, where are we coming from with this move uh, to, the, to the upside that we're expecting. Now, just looking at this here from the daily time frame, we're looking at this here to be a move to the downside. In, uh, it's a corrective strategy. This is our W move here. So we're looking at this as a W, but you don't have to worry much about this here. I'm just gonna, I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming here. This is where I want to explain to you guys what are we looking at in a pound cat, but it wouldn't make sense if I just show you uh, these guys uh, here. So we've got this one here to have been our W here, looking at this here as a three wave move to a downside. Now, uh, what we are looking at here is for a bigger picture like this. We're looking for a structure like this here and then a move to the downside uh, here. But before all of this here, we are focusing here. We are still yet to uh, to look, look for this move to the upside before this move to our downside here. So we've been looking at this here to be a three wave move to our downside. We are obviously looking at this one to be a three wave move to the upside for our wave X. And lastly, we're going to be looking for this move to the downside uh, here. Now, if you look at the internals yeah, of this wave X here, remember this is our W here. We're looking for this year to be our wave X and this move to the downside to be our wave Y. If you look at the internal there, what we want is this to have been a three wave move to the upside, this being our W, a three wave move to the downside, this being our wave X here, and we are looking for this year to be a three wave move to complete our wave uh, Y. This would be a W here, our uh, wave X here, and this should be our wave Y. Remember, we've got this here to be our W in a bigger degree, this being our W, our wave X here, and this to be our wave Y. This is just an overview of that higher degree. Now, if you look at the internals there, we've got this here to be a three wave move to the upside, that is completing the W in a red minor degree. We've got this one to be a three wave move to a downside here. And lastly, we've got this here. Now we're still looking for this move to the upside. There's a bigger structure that we're looking at on a palm cake. Now I'm gonna work this off here and then I'm gonna go on the four hour chart here and let's have a look at this last leg. Now what we are looking for is for this move here. We've seen that this is all in threes here. This is in threes here. Now we are looking for this structure here. Okay, this is the last three leg that we're looking for a move to the upside. Now we go on the four hour chart. Right, so on the fall chart, we're looking at this here to be our triangle here. In this case here, we're looking at this here. You've seen the labels that we've got on the website. So we are looking at this here to be our triangle, this being our wave A here. This will be our wave, uh, our wave B, our wave C here, our wave D. And we're looking for, uh, we believe that this wave B has already ended and we're looking for this move to the upside here. And just to show you, the triangle that we are looking at here is this one here. Okay, uh, the wave D. Uh, in this case, it failed to touch the other side of a triangle, it, and we are accepting that, okay? We are accepting that. So this is our wave A here. We've got this to be our wave B here, our wave C, our wave D here, uh, uh, here, and now we are looking for this to have ended, this to be our wave E, and we're gonna be looking for this move to the upside here on uh, pound cat. So that's what we are looking at uh, here on the four hour chart. So now I'm gonna quickly go on the one hour chart, and I'm going to show you uh, some levels that we uh, what we are looking at uh, uh, here. So let me just uh, switch that on here. Now, we believe that this is our web team has already ended uh, here. I'm sure you've seen this a couple of times during our uh, uh, technical analysis or during our weekly webinar. So just looking at this last structure here, we're looking at this one to be an A here and impassively move to the downside. This should be our wave A and our wave B here. So we are looking at this here to be our wave C. Then from here, this wave C is completing our wave E of a triangle, which is our wave B in this case here. So we're going to be looking for this move to the upside uh, here. Now, uh, we just, I'm going to zoom into this structure here and let's have a look at this here. We've already got this here to be an impassive move. We believe that the wave E has already ended here. It might have broken uh, below this other side of a triangle, but still acceptable because our invalidation level here, we were not expecting that this was going to come and trade as low as this point uh, here. If you look at this here, uh, this is where we did not want to see the wave E to be coming here at the uh, at uh, wave C. We did not want to see that coming there. And it is indeed, this was respected. We did not get to this uh, wave C here. Now, what we have here, it what appears to be an impassively move to the upside. 
Okay, we've got this one yet to be an impossibly move to the upside. And I believe that this is a start of a move to the upside here on a pound cat. So this could be our wave one. So this could be our wave one here. And now if this is our wave one, we should be looking for a wave two. So this is a strategy that we are looking for here. We're looking for this move to our downside. If we can't get this move yet, a three-way strategy like this here against this swing low, then we are going to be looking for this bullish move to the upside right here. So whether this is going to go all the way up here, uh, still remain to be seen because there could be a change of a strategy here. But in either case, with this impressively move here, we should definitely get this move to the upside. Whether it's going to be an equal leg, that would be our first target. We'll be looking for this year to be an equal leg or it's to extend a, a higher here. But we've been focusing this year for quite some time. So we believe that the move that we're expecting here should soon and very soon come on a pound a cat. So look out for that for that buying opportunity. Just uh, keep note that our key level is going to be this one here. Anything above this swing low here, then we're going to be looking for this bullish move to the upside. So that's why we posted that chart on that website. Watch out for that. You don't just go and buy there where the, uh, where the price is. No, we are still looking for this bearish move to the downside here. Like I've said, an alternative structure here, if this was not to make a move to the upside, it would be just a three wave move to the upside and then we get a move to the downside and continue with the move to the downside. This could be the structure here, three wave like this here, and then we see a move to the downside here. So hence I'm saying that if you decide to trade this or you get an entry here, your first target should be at least the amount of pips that we have here because this can easily change the structure and have this bearish move to the downside. All right, so guys, uh, please trade safe and responsibly. If you like what we do, please uh, give us a thumbs up here and you can also consider to sign up. You, I'm sure you guys have seen how we're able to manage to trade over 11,500 pips just in the month of uh, September till uh, date. Cheers, guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.